What's up, what's up, what's up? This is Jeff from BKJ Mag TV, and this is the BKJ Mag Podcast Experience. And today we're gonna be talking about well, high fructose corn syrup. This is season three, episode 17. High fructose corn syrup. Now, high fructose corn syrup is a disgusting chemically created sugar. It was created in a lab to replace natural sugar because at times there could be wars, there could be national shortages, and companies like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or any other brand that deals with food production, basically you um, would be um, would be sanctioned from would be sanctioned from not you being able to use that much sugar natural sugar so companies needed something new and as opposed to keeping this as a temporary use they instead made it permanent and that's called high fructose corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup was pioneered by one of the lab creators named Roberto Gazuta now, I'm probably butchered his last name wrong, but Roberto basically was a Cuban-American who immigrated to the United States as a chemist and rose his way in the ranks of Coca-Cola. And eventually, um, he impressed the brass at Coca-Cola so well that the CEO of Coca-Cola stepped down and made him the CEO. Because he came up with a way to increase profit margins at Coca-Cola. And that was the switch from natural sugar, natural cane sugar, to high fructose corn syrup. Yes, he was responsible for doing that. And when Coca-Cola did that, Pepsi did that, and all the other brands that were using natural sugar had switched to high fructose corn syrup. Um, basically, like I said, again, it was a, it was a manu, uh, uh, manufactured engineered sugar created in a lab at a corn syrup. And it was supposed to be the sweetener put into soda to make it taste like you're drinking natural sugar. When in actuality, it has a, it could cause a series of notorious health problems for the individual who consumes a lot of high fructose corn syrup um, products. For let's say Coca-Cola, if you are a person that drinks a lot of Coca-Cola or anything in the Coca-Cola brand family, you are consuming a large amount of high fructose corn syrup. If you go to the supermarket and you see the back of the nutritious facts, you see 162% grams of sugar, that's high fructose corn syrup. You're not drinking natural sugar because there's no way a company's putting all that natural sugar into a soda. Simple as that because it's a raw material. They're not putting all that sugar in there. But high fructose corn syrup, since it's manufactured in a lab, they're gonna put as much as humanly possible, um, uh, except for the FDA who has mandates. And if it wasn't for those mandates, they probably would have put more into those sodas. So you're basically drinking high fructose corn syrup, with, again, which was manufactured in a lab. And when he did, when Roberto did that, he was able to increase Coca-Cola's profit margin. Pepsi switched it, and they were able to increase their profit margin. Any company that switched to high fructose corn syrup was able to increase their profit margin and make more money off the backs of many Americans who basically eventually developed diabetes and um, congestive heart failure, heart disease, etc. You name it. Um, there's an article that was written by this by Health Science. Excuse me, by Healthline. Um, it was written by um, Rudy Maurer. This was um, a couple of years ago, and he talked about the effects of high fructose corn syrup. Now he writes. High fructose corn syrup is an artificial sugar made from corn syrup. Many experts believe that added sugar and HFCS are key factors in today's obesity epidemic. HFCS and added sugar are also linked to many other serious 
health issues, including diabetes and heart disease. Here are six reasons why consuming large amounts of high fructose corn syrup is bad for your health. Adds an unnatural amount of fructose to your diet. The fructose in high fructose corn syrup can cause health issues if eaten in excessive amounts. Most starchy carbs such as rice are broken down into glucose, the basic form of carbs. However, table sugar and high fructose corn syrup compare, comprise around 50% glucose and 50% fructose. Glucose is easily transported and utilized by every cell in your body. It's also the pre predominant fuel source for high intensity exercise and various processes. That's the glucose that's broken down in your body. In contrast, the fructose from high fructose corn syrup or table sugar needs to be converted into glucose. Glucosian stored carbs are fat by the liver before it can be used as fuel. Like regular table sugar, HFCS is a high source of fructose. In the past few decades, the intake of fructose and HFCS has increased significantly. Before table sugar and HFCS became affordable and widely available, people's diets contained only small amounts of fructose from natural sources such as fruits and vegetables. The adverse effects listed below are mostly caused by excess fructose, although they apply to both high fructose corn syrup, 55% fructose, and plain table sugar, 50% fructose. Um, so basically, what that part isn't telling is your body needs the glucose, but the chem, but this level of sugar that was created by high fructose corn syrup, it just it cr- it creates a disbalance in your body. And when that disbalance occurs, it makes your body become more dependent on it. And when your body becomes more dependent on it, it's when it's what causes your body to fail eventually down the line. Anyway, increases your risk of fatty liver disease. High intake of fructose leads to increased liver fat. One study in men and women with excess weight showed that drinking sucrose sweetened soda for six months significantly increased liver fat compared to drinking milk, diet soda, or water. Other research has also found that fructose can increase liver fat to a greater extent than equal amounts of glucose. In the long term, liver fat accumulation can lead to serious health problems such as fatty liver disease and type 2 diabetes. It's important to note that the detrimental effects of fructose in added sugar including high fructose corn syrup should not be equated with the fructose in fruit. It's difficult to consume excessive amounts of fructose from whole fruits which are healthy and safe and sensible amounts so basically the fructose that you're getting from fruits is safe because it's a relatively extremely small amount as opposed to the lab created fructose that's an excess amount which could have detrimental effects to your body so as we go in in number three, it increases your risk of obesity and weight gain. Long-term studies identicate that excessive intake of sugar, including high fructose corn syrup, plays a key role in the development of obesity. One study had healthy adults drink beverages containing either glucose or fructose. When comparing to the two groups, the fructose drink did not stimulate regions of the brain that control appetite to the same extent as glucose drink. Fructose also permits visceral fat accumulation. Visceral fat surrounds your organs and is the most harmful type of body fat. It is linked to health issues like diabetes and heart disease. That is what fructose does to your body, especially high levels of it created in a lab. It basically creates diabetes and heart disease. It It triggers it. It triggers your organs. And excessive intake is linked to diabetes. Excessive fructose uh, or high fructose corn syrup consumption can also lead to insulin resistance, a condition that can result in type 2 diabetes. So basically, when you're putting all that fructose into your body and your, your pancreas is producing all that insulin to absorb it, at one point where all that fructose, all that unnatural fructose could cause insulin resistance where it now becomes resistant to the insulin. And that's how you develop type 2 diabetes when the insulin is resistant in the body. What the pancreas is producing, it becomes resistant to the high fructose corn syrup that's invading your body. 
So um, it's a shame. It's a shame that Coca-Cola and Pepsi are pushing these types of products on the American people in supermarkets and superstores across the world. Let's look at it. It's bad for the health. It's type. It's when you walk into the supermarket and you see all these sodary drinks and you see high fructose corn syrup. It is you. You know you're walking into the aisle where you can develop type two diabetes. Eventually, your pancreas producing um, insulin. Um, um, excuse me. Your body producing insulin will become resistant to these fructose and it will stay in your body creating and creating type 2 diabetes it's like it needs to go back to the days where um, manufacturers um were creating using natural sugar natural sugar is better i'm urging pepsi and i'm urging coca-cola to go back to a couple of sodas to use natural sugars it's better that way it's healthier that way I actually want to see a bottle of Sprite that doesn't have high fructose corn syrup or a bottle of Coca-Cola that doesn't have high fructose corn syrup or a bottle of ginger ale that doesn't have high fructose corn syrup, but natural sugar and a small, a small amount of it too. I think it's more beneficial to the society and it'll keep people from developing type 2 diabetes. I strongly believe that. I don't, I don't want to sound everywhere all over this all over this podcast episode so i'm gonna bottom line it for you high fructose corn syrup is bad for your body and a lot of sodas have it and it's easy to say stay away but it tastes so good so instead of you know eliminating the sodas i'm urging the manufacturers to to redesign their sodas and go back to an age of natural sugars in soda but not too much of it take care of the people that buy the drinks not hurt them in the long term that's all i'm saying about it because honestly it can really cause diseases like heart disease diabetes and eventually forms of cancer and you don't want to go and a person should not have to go through that high fructose corn syrup needs to be eliminated in soft drinks and a return to natural sugars should be the norm in all soft drinks that is sold in supermarkets and in markets across the world. Uh, Hopefully they heed to it. Hopefully. I'll urge for it. Thank you for listening to this episode of the BKJ Mag TV Podcast Experience. Peace, love, always, one.